Here's problem 24 2. Charges little q and big Q are placed on the x axis at x equals 0 and x equals 2 meters, respectively. And little q is minus 40 picocoulombs, and big Q is plus 30 picocoulombs. Determine the net flux through a spherical surface, a radius 1 meter, centered on the origin. Let's take a look at what this might look like. We're going to have a charge, a negative charge, at the origin, little q, and that charge is equal to a negative 40 picocoulombs. And then at x equal 2, we have a positive charge. That's big Q, I'm sorry. And that is equal to plus 30 picocoulombs. And then we have a, um, a sphere located a radius 1 around the origin like this. And we want to find the net flux through the sphere. Now, if I'm looking at the flux due to this negative charge, there's going to be flux lines coming into it radially from all directions. So there will be a net flux of a negative value due to this negative charge here. And if I look at this positive charge, there's going to be flux emanating away from this positive charge three-dimensionally in all radial directions. Now, where it concerns the sphere, these flux lines are going to be going into the sphere, but they're also going to be coming out on the other end. So everywhere where there's a flux line entering from this external charge, there will be flux exiting as well. So the net flux due to this external charge, this positive charge, is actually going to be zero with concern to this surface. We can basically ignore this charge because it's adding a net flux of zero. So the only thing we need to concern ourselves in this problem is the negative charge that's actually inside the sphere. So we're going to say that our flux is equal to the charge enclosed over epsilon naught. In this case, that's going to be Q1 over epsilon naught. So our net flux is going to be Q1, which is minus 40 picocoulombs divided by epsilon naught which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. The 10 to the minus 12's cancel out and we'll have minus 40 divided by 8.85. That's going to be a negative 4.52 newton meter squared per coulomb. So that is the net flux through the sphere because there is no contribution from the external charge. There's only a contribution from the internal charge, the charge enclosed by the surface.